Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm sharing with you four more really simple and easy crock pot meals. These are all new. I've never like showed these before. Um, some of them are new actually to me and I've never tried before. One of them I actually messed up and burned, so I actually didn't, I wasn't able to show you all the end. Um, so, if you need some help in the kitchen, want to save some time and money, then keep on watching. If you are new, please subscribe, and I will see you at the end of the video. Okay, guys, I wanted to interrupt really quick and tell y'all about something fun that I'm going to be a part of in a couple of weeks. I'm going to be a part of the Get Organized HQ. This is a virtual event by invite only, and I am inviting all of my followers to attend. There is an all-access pass right now. I'm going to give you access to over 50 videos and trainings from people like me that want to share and help moms get organized in their life. I'm going to be doing a class on cooking, saving time, and money in the kitchen like I do here on YouTube but this is content that I have not shared with you. There's also going to be free downloadables and you're going to get access to this. Join me and tons of other women sharing how we can help you at home. There's going to be videos on um, getting organized, videos on faith, videos on finances, videos on cooking and cleaning, so many things that can help you in your life and it's all going to be given to you when you buy the all access pass. The price for the pass is going to go up the closer it gets to the event, so right now today you can get it for the cheapest possible. I will leave a link in the comments if you are interested. I can't wait to see you all there. All right guys, so the first crock pot meal I'm gonna share with y'all um is crock pot chicken spaghetti i love chicken spaghetti i have not made it in a while but it's one of those meals that i feel like is a lot of work but i found a recipe that's actually not hard so i'm gonna put a crock pot liner i got my crock pot put my liner in and i'm going to start with two chicken breast this is from walmart frozen chicken is um, the cheapest that I can find. All right, I'm going to put a can of diced tomatoes in the crock pot. I'm going to put a can of cream of chicken. I hate how this doesn't come out of the can really well. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm going to use this Italian dressing and recipe mix. Sprinkle it on top. And then I'm gonna do minced garlic. I'm just gonna eyeball it. Man, what is the deal? That was stressful. All right. Now I'm gonna let this cook on high for four hours. I will show y'all what it looks like. All right, here we go. It looks delicious, smells delicious. We're gonna let this cook on high for four hours. Um, it may get done quicker, but that's what we're gonna start with. I will let y'all know what it looks like when it's done. I got this picture in my closet It's gathering dust right now And the edges have been folded once or twice It doesn't look the same <laughs> Now we're gonna do cheddar jack and I'm probably just gonna do like half of this back. And I'm gonna stir it to melt it. I am boiling some water right here for angel hair pasta. I'm gonna cook it, drain it, and then pour it in here. And I have breadsticks I'm gonna put in the air fryer. Sign has made it pale. I used to 
used to have it hanging on my wall some time ago. A picture of you. You're standing by that window, playing your guitar. And if I close my eyes, I can almost hear your song. A picture of you. All right, y'all, so for this meal, um, I accidentally bought this huge four pound thing of ravioli. Um, you only need like half of this. But we're gonna be making ravioli lasagna. And I'm super excited. I'm actually gonna be out of the house most of the day, so this is gonna be cooking while I'm gone. three layers of this meal. I'm gonna top it with the remaining uh, pasta sauce. So I actually ended up doing two of these. These are the cheapest. And then I'm gonna top it with mozzarella cheese. I'm gonna let this cook all day on low. Um, honestly, I'm a little worried about the bottom layer of the ravioli, but surely it won't get too bad. Um, but that's it. Hopefully it goes okay. All right, here's what it's looked like to have not messed with it. I've been gone. The bottom is not burnt. Okay, so super impressed. It's basically like lasagna. Um, ravioli lasagna. So we're gonna have this with peas and carrots out of the microwave. Fancy like. All right, guys, next crock pot meal is going to be like a honey garlic chicken. So let me get this stuff. Frozen chicken breast. All right, this is all you need. We're gonna do soy sauce, which I am the queen of not measuring things, but I will try to find like the actual measurements. Okay, ketchup, and this is all I have. Something I've also noticed, well, I'm gonna challenge you, is to buy the organic ketchup tastes so much better than regular ketchup. Um, or Aldi has a really good um, like organic one that's cheap. It's not that much more. Try it, it's really good. 
sesame seeds. Oregano. Minced garlic. Oh man, not again. We're not doing that again. Which I don't have that much, so I'm going to empty it all. In there. Alright, and then we're going to do honey, which I remember it said half a cup of honey, so... We're gonna let that cook on high for four hours. All right, here's what it looks like. Okay y'all, today we are doing a taco like hash brown skillet in the crock pot. So you're gonna start with a bag of hash browns like this. We are going to use Rotel taco seasoning, sour cream, um, cheddar cheese. Did I say Rotel? We're gonna have Rotel, ground beef cooked, mix it all together, cook it on low for a couple of hours. I'm gonna head out the door. Hopefully I don't screw up this one. Um, like I did yesterday's meal and yeah. I just got home and this meal looks really good. I'm excited about it. Turned out good, put the timer on. Um, you can put shredded cheese on it. Put the lid back on, let it sit for like 10 minutes if you want, but mine looks really great. We're gonna eat this with some crushed up tortilla chips, I think. All right guys, so the last thing we're gonna make is homemade mac and cheese. And the intention for this is to not be like a full on meal, but we're gonna have it like with probably like chicken nuggets. Van! Van just filled up his diaper. Well, I'm gonna go change that, wash my hands, and then I'll come back and show y'all. All right, gonna start with a crock pot liner. 
one pound of mellow noodles. This is two pounds. All right, we're gonna do black pepper. Half a cup of Parmesan cheese, grated Parmesan. I'm really just eyeballing it. We're gonna do garlic powder. Paprika. All right, we're gonna do cream cheese. about two cups of milk, two cans of evaporated milk, say for later for the toppings and then I'm gonna do like one stick of butter so this is not a healthy meal okay so we're gonna mix that a little bit could have probably cut the cream cheese but it is mixing and I will stir this. If you're gonna leave this and not be able to stir it, then I would cube the cream cheese for sure. All right, we're gonna cook this on high for three hours. This is what it looks like. Fingers crossed. Thank y'all so much. Thank y'all so much for watching everybody. I hope that y'all enjoyed. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and made it all the way to the end. Stay tuned. I'm going to have some more videos this week. I'm actually going to have a summer lunches video. Um, I'm actually going to be having a lunches video for people that work. Um, like a cold lunches video and then some back to school ideas for kids as well. So I will see y'all next time. Bye everybody.